Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video. This video will focus on using custom GPTs in Sykes. If you didn't know yet, DeepSeek is an incredible platform for interacting with artificial intelligence models. They are similar in nature to Chagipite, Claude, Sonnet, Gemini, and others, and compete with the most powerful artificial intelligence tools on the market. I made a video which you can find the link to in the description that describes all the features of DeepSeek. With the addition of custom GPTs, you can now create custom wizards to meet your specific needs. Whether you're a developer, writer, marketer, researcher, or just curious, this feature is going to be a game changer for you. So, we are going to do a reminder on GPTIS. What does that mean? This stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformers. They appeared in OpenAI. In which are artificial intelligence-based language models designed to complete and generate text content in a natural and contextual way. So how do they work? GPTs are trained on vast amounts of text data to predict and generate word sequences. They use a transformer architecture that allows capturing complex relationships between Words and sentences. The most successful and recent models have emerged from OpenAI with JPTK and are able to understand longer contexts and provide more accurate answers. And nuanced. But you need to have a subscription to create GPTs in Chast GPT. While in DeepSeek, it's free. Why use personality GPTs in DeepSeek? So they allow you. Save time, no need to repeat the same instructions every time. Getting specific answers could create specialized GPTs, for example in development, business relations, writing, or even humor. Adapt DeepSeek to your daily needs, whether it's for generating code, writing blogs, articles, or just having fun, the possibilities are endless. Now we will see how to add a custom GPTS in DeepSeek. Let's go over the screen to see how to configure these extensions in DeepSeek. Now let's move on to practice. Here are the steps to follow to install custom GPTS in DeepSeek. The first thing is to access the DeepSeek interface through Google. You type in DeepSeek and you'll land on this page. DeepSeek, I'll start now. So, I prefer to configure the platform in tag mode. So you go to my profile and into settings. You activate, you have the language and the theme. Choose dark for I rest. Now you need to go to Web Store, Chrome Web Store to install the, the extension. Type in Chrome Web Store and you type in DeepSeek Custom GPT. You DeepSeek Custom GPT and you will find this link added at Custom GPT feature to DeepSeek. Here you will find the extension, you will find a video, a tutorial that explains how to install GPTIS. So you install it, you activate it, you pin it here, and once it's installed, we can add the GPTIS. How do you add these epitheses? So, you go to the window, you have the appearance of Satapang Lush here, which you have to refresh so that Satapang can appear in the window of each. Now that you have installed the extension, you will see here Save Custom GPT. How to create your own custom GPT. So, in the first line, you put the title. In the first line, it is the title you return to the line. To return to the line, there is a trick you have to type Shift Enter. To not execute the instruction, if you press Enter directly, it will execute. So, I have already prepared the instruction for this custom GPT. I will paste it, Control V. And the instruction comes out, you are a research assistant specialized in academic writing assistance, article synthesis, suggestion of bibliographic references. Your role is to help me. Explore research topics, summarize scientific articles, and structure my ideas for articles or reports. If I give you a topic or a text, provide me with clear summaries, relevant references and suggestions for improving the structure. All my work 
so you have to save first. So once you have saved, here you have the appearance of your GPT, the custom GPT. So here if you press, here you have the instruction. Now I can give an example. Write to me. I can so I refresh. There, so there my constant post is created. So I go here. So write me an article on biodegradable materials on bio-based materials. For 100 words, bio-based, you don't have to press the arrow. You have to press J, P, T to execute your query. There you go. He's starting to write now. He's starting to develop the article. The query I asked for, bio-based materials, a sustainable alternative for the future. Bio-based materials, definition and source of bio-based materials. Advantages and environments, challenges and perspectives, conclusions. And here are the references he gave me. So, I can see these 2004. 2002 and 2011. So I can continue to to create GPTs that I use daily. We're going to a second example. So I'm going to call teaching. So I come back here. So I'm going to create another teaching assistant GPT. Teaching. So I go back to the line I save custom and there you have it teaching assistant GPT. Now I refresh. My second GPT coast has been created. Now I'm going to ask something, prepare my breast for the biodegradable materials. So like before, you don't have to press the blue arrow. You have to press teaching assistant so that it executes. There, it will go to execution, course, course objective, course outline, type of materials, process, application, advantage. So the power is in the preparation of the slopes. These are the exercises that that prepares to help you prepare your course. GPTs are very useful to boost your productivity. These are very concrete examples that allow you to go faster and perform your work. The issues course objectives, course on biodegradable materials, course objectives, course plan, type of materials, biodegradation process, application of biodegradable materials, environmental and economic issues, teaching materials, so PowerPoint presentation, technical So it depends on the power of proof that you prepare. So you can go further if you use these techniques. Here is another example of student engagement. Example a GPT that will be dedicated to engaging students in the training process. Control go back. And I will put the prompt here. What is the prompt? You are an IDR student engagement assistant specialized in the creation of interactive activities, online discussions, and collaborative projects. Your role is to generate ideas to make the course more interactive, provide personalized feedback to students, and create materials to encourage their participation. On a topic or learning objective, propose engaging activities, discussion questions, and methods to assess their understanding. So I save the custom post and there it appears. So now I refresh and so I go back. There it is, student engagement. So I go, for example, to a discussion on artificial intelligence. Discussion on AI in education, an example of a discussion there. I can see. So I click here on student engagement. We will see the rendering. How will the rendering look after liking this prompt? There you go, so we'll see after the answer. So there you go. Interactive activity, divide the class into two groups. One group defends the advantages of AI in education, the other the disadvantages. Each group prepares arguments and concrete examples. Organize a moderated debate, where each group presents its arguments and responds to the other group's point. Design workshop, Ask students to design an application or tool based on art that could be used in teaching. And so on. It is a support that will allow you to create a certain interactivity between students when presenting a theme. Here, there is also the role play, the discussion questions. Here are examples of GPTs that can boost your productivity and create engagement with students.
The usefulness of creating GPTs and psyches that are free. Unlike a GPT that you need to have a subscription to be able to create GPTs. So I refresh. How can I remove? Remove these custom post types. So they are there. I can eliminate them from there. So there you go. If there is the quote in my profiles. So you can eliminate the cats and the GPTs from there. This is the usefulness of introducing GPTs through this extension, which is very interesting. On this, I end this video. Thank you for your attention, and see you next time.